Fossil fuels have been described as sunshine in solid, liquid and gas form because indeed the energy that is trapped within a fossil fuel is originally from the sun millions of years ago. Now the industrial revolution that started in Britain was powered by fossil fuels, specifically by coal. And trying to improve the steam engines and other steam-based equipment led to big advances in physics. Just as in the 1940s, the development and implementation of the atomic bomb led in the 50s to nuclear power stations. Again, science was pushed forward uh, by these different fuels and their development. And discoveries of coal, oil and gas can also tell us about deep time in our planet's history, what happened millions and millions of years ago. And of course, for extraction of these fuels, you're going to need society and technology on board. And often many societies and many different people are involved in trying to get these fuels out of the ground. You need international cooperation. So finally, what's the answer the IB wants when they talk about international cooperation? I found that answer. It's only worth one point, but pretty much any sensible answer as to why is it better for people to cooperate internationally on problems is going to get you that one point. Choosing Russia as our focus for fossil fuels? Well, Russia is the world's second biggest producer of fossil fuels, and it accounts for about 70% of their exports. So their whole economy, export economy, is revolving around fossil fuels. Now, the price of oil used to be $140 a barrel, and as of yesterday, it's down there in the 50s. So if your economy is based on oil, you're in real trouble. So Russia's addiction to oil uh, means that they're going to have to diversify now that the oil price has come down. They have to think of other, other ways to, uh, to earn money with exports. According to Greenpeace, a trusted international environmental organization, there are also uh, societal and environmental problems with Russia's exploitation of the oil fields. And in terms of technology, uh, the Russians need international cooperation to get their fossil fuels, especially the oil, out of the ground. So, of course, problems aren't unique to Russia. Uh, the Scottish people that I meet are convinced that the English have pumped the oil out of Scotland and the money and have used that to enrich our country at the expense of theirs. In China, they burn lots of coal and that causes much smog. And Japan has very little fossil fuels, so it decided to use a nuclear energy a lot. And of course, there was the recent nuclear power plant that was destroyed by the tsunami and all of the associated problems with that. So now they're reconsidering, perhaps go to renewables and they're surrounded by water. Maybe there's some tidal, maybe there's some waves, maybe there's some wind, who knows? I'm trying to cover the nature of science and international mindedness here and no one's really quite sure what the IB want, but this is my best stab at it.